What is evil then? If everything that exists is good, what is evil? Evil is the lack of a do-good. Evil is um, a privation. Something is missing that ought to be there. If you look at this image of the alphabet, uh, what's missing in the pumpkin patch? Ask the question. Well, what's missing in the pumpkin patch is some of the letters. You know, It's an alphabet. In the alphabet, there should be the C, and there should be the F, and there should be the H, and yet they are missing. Not there. Problem. Okay, because it's not the whole alphabet. The alphabet would have those letters. Those are missing. Well, okay, that's a kind of a silly example, but that's an example of what evil is. It's a lack of something that ought to be there. If someone loses one of their arms, my arm was chopped off, I'd be missing something that I ought to have. That would be an evil at the natural level. It's not a moral evil. It doesn't make me morally bad or something like that. I'm still a human being with full dignity, and yet I'm missing something that I ought to have, my right arm. It's gone, okay? I think it's kind of reversed in your picture, so it looks like my left arm, but really it's my right. Okay, um, if someone has cancer, in cancer, the extra cells, they themselves are not bad. The cells are cells. They're good in themselves. However, the problem with cancer is you have too many cells in the wrong place. There's not a proper proportion. There's lacking a proper proportion between the number of cells and the place where they are within the body. These are physical evils, natural evils. In the case of moral evil, of sin, if someone steals something, the thing itself is not bad. The action of taking something is not bad. If I steal a steak from somebody, taking the steak is not a bad thing in itself. Picking up a steak, that's not a bad action. What's bad in it? I lack ownership of that steak, and I lack the permission of that person to take it. So the problem, the evil, is exactly what is lacking. Not the action itself, not the eating of the steak itself, but what's lacking. I don't have ownership of it. Similarly, if someone stabs an innocent person with a sword, um, the sword is not a bad thing. Um, the action of stabbing is not itself in a bad thing. In some circumstances, that could be a good thing. Okay, stabbing forward. I don't know, perhaps I'm stabbing into uh, a big grape so that the grape can pour out its juice and I can drink it. Okay, that's a silly example, but there you go. In this case, it's stabbing a human being, and that's the problem. If there's not due cause because I'm stopping them from killing me, then I lack due cause to stab this person. Um, those are examples of moral evils. Evil is always a lack within something that is otherwise good. It's good insofar as it has existence, it has being, it becomes evil insofar as it lacks something essential to it. Just as darkness is the absence of light, think about that for a minute. What is darkness? Well, it's just simply that there's not the waves, right, of light in the air or in the space. And a hole is the absence of soil in the midst of other soil, okay? There's missing soil right there. So evil is the lack of a good that ought to be there, that should be there and is not. Even Satan is good insofar as he exists, and he is loved by God in that goodness, the goodness of his nature, his nature of being an angel. He becomes evil because he lacked the love of God and of his neighbor that is proper to a creature that's a person, to an angel as well as a human being. So evil is the lack of a do-good. Be sure to ask me your questions. Um, and we can talk about this further. Um, God bless you and talk to you soon.